Hi, I want to speak about the oil pumps a bit. This is my oil pump, this is my old oil pump, and I wanted to inspect it. And there is a bit of lacking information about these dots. And as far as I understand, you need to align them. Uh, the, the, what the importance of aligning them is which side they are facing. So the thing is, with time, these pumps are getting scarred from little pieces inside the engine oil. So let's say, let's say when you take your oil pump and then you realize that one of the dots is installed facing inwards, this direction, like this. So if you are sure that right from the start you install this pump like this and you run it like this when you put it back together put it the same way you take out because the thing is there are wear marks on each surface of the inner and outer drum or rotor as they saw it so with time these this this uh these marks these scars are matching matching each other so what happens if you realize that after thousands of miles you realize that you put your new oil pump like this and you say oh let's do it the right way let's match the dots actually if you do it if you do this you will add more scars because you will change the matching surfaces of the damaged parts so you will create more damaged parts so this these dots as far as I understand, it's for that reason. So if you install these, this direction, keep this uh, when you're putting back together. If you install this from the start like this, keep it that way. Same for the same for the rotor. If you if you realize that you installed your rotor this way, but your inner rotor is this way, just just keep things that way. So you will not at least add more more damage on the surface. So the other check you can do. You can check the surface of the engine rotors and it's not very visible on the camera but there are some scars there are some some damaged sur damaged surfaces if I can find any like you can see one there you can see one there and they will this will make you lose compression will not kill your engine perhaps but yeah it's damaged so let's show you a new one this is a new inner rotor as you can see it's much more uh, smooth on the surface so yeah same thing applies for the other rotor for the nip pump but there are other checks there are other checks you can do which i will which i will show you right now you will get yourself a filler gauge and you will get yourself a service manual and then according to your service manual you will make some adjust uh, measurements so my service manual says that 0 0.25 millimeters is the service limit of the of the space between the outer edge outer drum the rotor and between the body so as you can see I'm not able to place but I kind of actually kind of goes in there a bit tiny bit but not all the way so it's not quite yet come to the service limits so my other service limits is in between this rotors so you will also make some measurements between this gap between here between two two rotors and it says that it should be less than 0 0.20 as you can see here and you will make a couple of uh, measurements from a couple of points then as you can see I'm not able to place it in between any of these openings so it's not quite yet come to the service limits but the most important thing is the, actually the surfaces if the surfaces are too long then it's time to replace it that's all I can say <clears throat> I'm sorry for my voice I'm a bit sick leave a comment uh, subscribe and thanks for watching